This is question 16. College Board gives us the cosine of angle x and the length of the hypotenuse and asks for the length of side AB in this triangle. And we can either use the special right triangles provided in the start of each math section, which tells us that in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have 2A, A, a root 3, which means that cosine of 30 degrees is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse is A root 3 over 2A. And since A over A is 1, that reminds us that the cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, which is a fact that you do have to learn in the course of your algebra career, and it's worth relearning if you're a little rusty there. So this tells us that since the cosine of x degrees is root 3 over 2, and the cosine of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2, that x is 30. And in this triangle, we know from the formula sheet at the start of the math section that the short side or the hypotenuse is equal to the short side over the hypotenuse of this triangle. A over A is 1, so 1 half equals AB over 8, and if I multiply both sides by 8, 8 over 8 is 1, AB is half of 8 is 4. If you don't happen to recognize that this is a special right triangle, We can also write AC over AB equals root 3 over 2. And we know that AB is 8, so AC over 8 equals root 3 over 2. Multiply both sides by 8. 8 over 8 is 1. AC is 8 over 2 is 4. 4 root 3. and we're looking for side AB, and now I can use the Pythagorean theorem. AB squared plus 4 root 3 squared, that's the two short sides of this right triangle, equals 8 squared. So AB squared is 4 squared is 16, root 3 squared is 3, 16 times 3 is 48. AB squared plus 48 equals 8 squared is 64. Subtract 48 from both sides. AB squared equals 16. Square root of both sides, AB is the positive square root, which is 4, because both we cannot rid in a negative answer, and a negative length would not make sense for the side of the triangle. So either way, we get the same result that the short leg of this triangle is half the length of the hypotenuse. Make sure you've reviewed your special right triangles, and you'll recognize them when they come up in this form, along with our memorized trig values, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.